welcome back to my channel for a new video and the time has finally come today i am starting to decorate our home for christmas i'm honestly so excited to start this vlog and film this vlog because i feel like i have been like prepping for christmas especially over the last few weeks in terms of like christmas decor decorations i have had to start all over again with this new house so i'm honestly so excited i have my tree sorted now i've been gathering quite a lot of bits so i'm looking forward to just getting them all out line them out and starting the tree and everything but I'm getting into the festive spirit today I've got my little hair bow in my hair from H&M and these pajamas which I thought are really nice for the festive season I love a deep red pajama and as you know I've been enjoying wearing red recently so I'm just gonna have a little move around in the living room and then just quickly run the hoover over before I get the tree up I am gonna pop it in the corner but I've currently got a chair there so I just need to rejig the living room a little bit get hoovering and then we can start putting the tree up. If you watch my festive decor like come shopping with me vlog you'd have seen that i got the nordman one so i'm gonna get this all out now they do come with like little gloves and whatnot um so you can sort of like separate the bristles so i'm gonna spend a bit of time doing that properly but yeah it's a really beautiful tree this one was more expensive um as you can see it comes with all the instructions and there's also some gloves in this bag somewhere i literally tested it and throw it all back in and I just need to have a little dig around and find the stand as well. helper today he's been very clingy and he wants to help out but i've just popped the tree skirt on that one is from dunham i do have a lighter one but i really like the dark rustic one for in here i've just put the bottom layer on and i wanted to show you something that's an absolute game changer so you know when you have your christmas tree and you're always faffing around trying to plug and turn it on like it's always a faff trying to find the plug and i ordered this off amazon so it's basically a little remote and a plug so you plug your christmas tree plug into this pop it into the wall that comes with a little battery as well and then yeah you can literally just turn on your christmas tree which is an absolute game changer it just means that yeah you haven't got to like faff around climbing around and look you literally just turn it on anyone else get like super obsessive with the tree like <laughs> i'm glad that russ is at work today because every time i've tried to decorate everything together i've just literally moved 
everything that he's put on. Um, I'm just like really, oh, I don't know what it is, a bit of a perfectionist. And I get really, yeah, really, really into it. And yeah, it looks so pretty now. So this is what it's looking at right now. I really like adding like the glass and the different shapes just to add some interest to the tree. I added these really pretty stars and I've got these bows from H&M. I really love these little glass droplets. I'm going to see if I can order some more of these for the dining room tree because I just feel like they just add like another like texture and then these are from home sense and of course i've got lots of these paper decorations the dining room tree is a lot bigger so yeah i've saved some decks for that and i'm really loving these brown um velvet baubles i do wish i had maybe some more brown i feel like it's hard to see them but i sort of like the hint of dark brown especially love this bauble here with the pearls from home sense and then sort of this bit i've sort of not on that much i've literally put a few decorations i feel like you always make the front bit look nice so i'm happy with the tree now i've just been having a play around in the hallway styling the console i want to sort of like have a play around and style it before filming um so yeah really happy with how that looks so i'll film like restyling that in the morning but i wanted to show you a wreath that i ordered i got this on offer I think it was from Very. They were doing some early Black Friday deals and this little bow needs tightening. But it's basically um, a really like rustic style wreath and it's got two bells on. So I'm going to um, pop this now, I think potentially on the front door or just, yeah, maybe the living room door. Um, I've got some really nice bells on the console table. So I thought the bells tie in really nicely. I've gone for like this rustic sort of like yeah they're the little bells which are really cute so this is going to go on the front door i think i just need to tighten this it's got a little bit hooked up i think maybe you do yeah i think you tie the wreath on to there and i ordered some of these hooks i ordered a black one i've also got a white one as well for the doors i bought a couple because i wasn't sure if i was going to put one on the front door or i wasn't um and I've ordered some for the house as well. So yeah, I think I potentially might put one in the living room door. Or I think I might just put it on the dining room door as you walk through. As that is mainly a main walkway. I'm going to wait till Russ gets back to show him the tree. But I'm going to wait till he's here to put on this little bauble. I think I showed you in one of my other videos. It's basically like for when you get married, you can get engagement ones. It literally just says air first Christmas as Mr and Mrs. We've done the double barrel on our names. So yeah, I thought I'd wait till he gets back from work and then we can pop this on the tree together and um, it's just easier for me to start putting the decks on because I've been filming everything as well I'm just yeah it takes me a while to like style things I feel like sometimes I get really like I feel like the console table I've got really creative which I like but sometimes I'm just staring at something for ages and I'm like is that right yet is that right and I just mess with stuff literally I think it's the old like vm in me i was literally yeah as a vm like such a perfectionist like whenever it come to like window displays or you get off that whenever it came to like window displays and doing styling stuff especially like the home bits as well that i used to do so yeah i think that's definitely where i get a sort of bit of my eye from but this is why it takes me so long because i'm such a perfectionist so yeah this little bauble just tied the ribbon now and then we can pop this on when it gets home from a brand called Layered Lounge. So I love to buy um, sort of like faux stems, like really high quality ones. I've got quite a few good ones from Amazon. I've also got some from a brand called Contempi. They kindly sent me some beautiful like polystyrene style. It sounds weird when I say polystyrene, but it's that sort of texture, like winter berries. And it sort of looks like snowy, it looks beautiful. So I'm gonna use that in the hallway, but I really wanted some faux 
um, pine stems and they're actually really hard to find good quality ones or the ones that they do have are crazy expensive so I'm gonna see if I can get into this box this is literally just arrived so I'm gonna try like mixing the berries in with the like faux um, pine because at the moment I've just popped in some eucalyptus like I sort of roughly styled it yesterday just to get a sort of feel for it but now I'm thinking it definitely needs the texture of the pine so I've seen lots of nice bits from this brand on Instagram it's the first time I've bought from them and yeah I ordered just the three stems and these actually look lovely so there's just these so I'm just going to spend a bit of time like I always do just spreading them all out um, yeah, these are lovely quality. They're exactly what I needed for the vase in there. I just felt like the, the eucalyptus works, like it's fine. It's just me being like, I think I can make that better with some faux stems. So yeah, I'm gonna get everything off now and restyle the console table. I'm also gonna be doing the kitchen area as well. I think I might do that tomorrow because I've got um, the little coffee station. I've got some new canisters from B&M. So I want to try and do a little like coffee hot chocolate station. I've ordered like little mini gingerbread men. I've got a nice little Christmas mugs I'm going to pop in the corner over there. I also ordered this little faux tree the other day. I have two of these. These are from John Lewis. I just popped one on the side over here. Russ keeps saying like, where does this stuff keep appearing from? I'm like, just you wait. Like we're still, I'm only just getting started. <laughs> Literally just getting started. So yeah, I'm going to do the console now. console style I'm absolutely loving the reflection of the tree in this mirror I just think it makes it look so magical but yeah I'm really chuffed with these I just think yeah the textures together they're honestly so pretty I just love Contempi for their faux flowers I do have a new olive tree from them as well which I'll put up after Christmas and then these stems are just beautiful I feel like before I'll pop a little picture I did have eucalyptus in here because um, I sold it for a campaign but now these have arrived I think it just ties in really nicely with all the pine bits I love this little Christmas tree this is absolutely adorable I got it from B&M and then these little LED lights are an absolute game changer and then I love them in the little house as well and my little nutcracker is from Donnell I do have some little ones on the tree and um, which I forgot to put on yesterday and then this aromatherapy diffuser pod is from Esper and oh my god the scent is incredible incredible I've got the winter spice scent in it I am working with them over on my Instagram which I'm honestly so chuffed about and yeah this smells amazing it's got like orange in cinnamon it just I feel like as soon as you walk in the house as well it just adds to the whole ambience of the house and then this little dish from Asda I've just filled in with some potpourri and I've just tied in the ribbon with this little ball ball I was just sort of being like creative and I love these bows I think I might do the bows as well maybe on our second Christmas tree but also in the kitchen area just tying them like round um, chopping boards and stuff just to add a little bit of like subtle festive but I love this burnt orange I've probably should have got some little dried orange slices for in here I'll have to pop to the range and see if I can get some more but, but yeah I'm super pleased with how the sort of consoles turned out so today I'm going to do the kitchen decor I'm going to change the bouquet over so I've got a very snorty Hugo here and he's honestly making such piggy noises at the moment he's so snorty and he's just been very clingy because I've been so busy with work I've been sort of ignoring him not meant to 
but he just wants me to sit down and sit on my lap all the time. And now because I've sat down to do this, he's literally trying to climb on me. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna do the kitchen counter styling. I'm gonna do the bouquet. I've also ordered some bits from H&M Home with the cyber discount. I thought I'd show you what I'd ordered. So I got some new PJs. I mean, I feel like H&M PJs are the best style. I love these linen stripe ones, very similar. We've got some bedding like this upstairs actually. And these ones are really soft. They do do them in the light blue and white stripe. So I feel like I might order those now whilst the discount is still on because this week is so bad. Um, honestly, it's so over. It's been so busy. There's always so much going on. It's very overwhelming. So I thought I'd order. That's the only thing I've actually ordered during the cyber discount. But I wanted to change some of the cushions over in the living room and add some extra pillows. So as you can see, I've got some brown velvet baubles on my Christmas tree. And for this chair over here, I just wanted to add a couple of cushion covers. So I got these ones from H&M. They're just linen. I thought it'd be really nice just to tie the colours in simply. I wasn't going to go and get loads of like Christmas throws or like Christmas cushions. I just wanted to do like sort of like subtle hints. And obviously I've bought so much already at Christmas of having to start again. So I might sort of see what other bits I can get at a later date. But I also ordered a candle holder. So I wanted a nice candle holder just for on the window. So I ordered did this which is really nice it's just like a gold brass it was really reasonable as well i think it was about 12.99 so i've ordered that and then i'm going to pop in some of the led candle sticks so you've seen my little mini tea like ones i've got off amazon well i spotted these and they also come with a little remote they're also off amazon so i'm going to just set it up and pop it maybe on the windowsill or on the little side table here i need to move around the side table actually i did actually move it to the like corner over there it's sort of a bit big, so it only looks nice sort of over here. So I've sort of got it like next to our sofa by the hallway. You can see a nice view of the Christmas tree in the background. I still need to do the other tree. Um, yeah, I feel like I've got loads of decor to do. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time to do the other tree this week, but I do need to check that it's all okay. Um, but yeah, these are the candles. So there should be just six candles in here. This is nice, isn't it? So they also do these um, with sort of like little wax strips coming down and you literally just turn them all on there. And I presume that you just turn it on here. No, maybe I need to read the instructions. I bet you I need a battery for the remote. Turn it on and off manually, push the button at the battery compartment. Max three minute remote control. Each candle is tapered by two LA batteries. I need to put batteries in these. Oh, for God's sake. I swear I might have some actually because I had to buy some new batteries for our frigging um, doorbell. Let me see if I can find them. No, I just have double AA batteries. So I'm going to have to go and get some batteries, but I've just popped them in there. You'll sort of see more of a vibe when they're all on, but I think I might just pop this on the windowsill. But yeah, I really love these LED candles. A really nice alternative to having a real flame, as much as I love having a real flame. Um, which is getting all the wax and everything everywhere. I think when I do sort of host like a dinner and whatnot, I will have actual real candles. But I think just for the vibe, these are really cute. And I also ordered some more like shimmery sort of like party style pajamas. How nice are these? I really love the texture. I feel like I always buy these, like especially for like my fashion videos and my home videos. When I'm at home doing all the Christmas decor and whatnot, I like to have like nice jumpers on, nice sets. So yeah, they do it in like a sort of like rose pinky color as well. And then these are the matching bottoms. I always go for a size small. <laughs> So far 
see me like sign limits in the house I'm forever just moving stuff till it looks right so I've just popped this little reindeer on here these are the ones from H&M I have the sitting down one here and I've just popped the sandy one over there I'm really enjoying doing the little bows and I saw the little bows like on chopping boards on Pinterest I thought it's a nice little touch to add I've also got this little Christmas tree on the side next to the radio it just sort of fills this little corner because as you can see there's just loads of wires and crap behind there so it's a nice to hide all of that. I'm not sure whether I'm going to put any like little paper decorations on there because I do have some mini ones but I might just keep it as it is. And for this vase I'm thinking of just getting some like berries or whatnot and some greenery in there with this little Christmas tree. This one is just from Home Sense and this is from TK Maxx. Then here's a closer look at this side. So I've just moved these two over here. I love the apple and pear there just from Dunnell. I've just moved that onto there and then yeah I've grabbed a book off the table as the vase was on two books. So I've just pulled the one out. I'm going to see if I do have any other books. I just can't find and probably in the garage somewhere in the boxes i was after my eat drink nap book which i was going to put here but i couldn't find it so i'm going to hunt in the garage but yeah this is my little standing reindeer and then i love the little velvet bow i've just left this eucalyptus in here this is actually real eucalyptus from our wedding day so i've just sort of kept it in here i might try and see if i can get some little berry bits just to put in there as well just so it fills that little bit out i've got a little sun christmas tree over here and then this is going to be the sort of like coffee hot chocolate station so i've been jigging this around as you would have seen on the video clip but what I've done is I've just filled up my caramel with some skinny syrup I forgot that I had this and I was thinking oh this corner just needs a little bit of like greenery so I forgot I got that from I think it was from the home sense probably so I've just set that up these two mugs are from TK Maxx I do have some more that I need to wash and pop in the cupboard again we've got another little ribbon there and then I've popped all the hot chocolate bits just in here so I've got my little jar for my coffee pods my tea my coffee and then I got these from B&M these stacker jars so I've just popped in some little marshmallows we've got some little McBitties ginger men I was going to have them on the side but I thought I'm just going to move them in because I'm going to end up moving them anyway and then I've just put my um hotel chocolate flakes just in that one so I've got all my sugar and that in there just sort of I like things being like out the way one thing that I am going to do in the new year is actually sort out the pantry cupboard because it actually looks horrendous like you don't even want to see what it looks like in here it's just yeah dumping ground like yeah chopping boards Hugo's uh, doggy advent calendar so yeah this is the cupboard that's going to be completely organized I do want a really nice little pantry style cupboard 
I've just turned this vase around so you can see the ribbon at the front, but I think it definitely needs that book back. And I've lit this candle, which is super nice. It's by Sand and Fox, which is my favorite candle brand. And they're also really good because Hugo is like super sensitive, so it doesn't affect him at all. And I love the little paper decorations on here too. 